Hi, I'm Rich. I'm with Cindy and we're on Legacy and at Tuitsea.com. This is the third video in a series and in this video I'd like to show you how I make CAP files, K-A-P files, from the files I've used to make AT5 charts for Navico chart plotters. First let's talk about the reasons to do that. Obvious reason is navigation. Let's look at uh, up here for example. We can zoom in and look at the cap file and and uh, see the detail and plan routes. Okay, that's the obvious reason. The other reason is to make a catalog of your AT5 files. Each one of these red outlines is an AT5 file. I make a chart group here called AT5 and only those charts show up. I can find the name of those charts down here on the bottom. For instance, this one is Kadavu Middle. If I zoom in on a different area, Tomba Cap. So I can select those on the chart plotter. There's no need to start from scratch to create cap files. We can use the working files that we use to make our AT5 files. In one case, we have a JPEG image and a KML geographic data file. In another case, we have a JPEG image and a JGW world file uh, that has the geographic data. Those will work fine to create CAP files. I'll show you how. For this process, we're going to use a little program called MAPC to MAPC. It's about $20 US, incredibly versatile, and well worth the money. The first thing we're going to do is file load calibrated map. Now, here's our geographic data file, in this case a JGW created from Google Earth Image Downloader. If that doesn't show up or if a geographic data file doesn't show up, we'd go over here and select the proper kind of file that we're looking for, but there's a shortcut. We can just go here and type star dot star, so it shows all the files, select the geographic data file, in this case JGW, and open it. Now it's going to prompt us for the datum, which is we want to use WGS84, and poof, it's loaded the calibrated map. Next step, we write the CAP file. So file, write KAPBSB compatible chart. All right, let's make a new directory where we want to put this. Let's just call it new folder. Let's call it uh, Earth CAP. And we'll select that directory. And then let's select a file name. Let's call it Earth Cap Demo. All right, this screen pops up with our settings. If you're using the latest version of MAPC to MAPC, you'll have this very important dither box. That's an improvement he made for the, with the colors for the limited 127 color color palette in CAP files. And this makes the detail much better. We're going to make sure that the colors to use is set to 127. Everything else can just stay the same. Click OK. And the cap is building. It says rebuilding palette, please wait. This will take anywhere from 30 seconds to an hour, depending on the size of the chart. OK, the cap is done. I skipped ahead. Let's see what it made. I'm going to minimize this. Here's our directory. Let's see what's in there. There's our BSB and CAP file. OpenCPN doesn't need the BSB, just the CAP file. So we can put that in a directory now, point uh, OpenCPN towards it, uh, make sure you update the database, and away we go. I'll close this. Let's do another one. We're going to use the stitch demo. So we'll load calibrated map file, desktop stitch demo. Now, nothing shows up there. These are the files we created with uh, SAS Planet. So we'll do that little trick again. Star dot star. We'll select the geographic data file. In this case, it's a KML. OK, it does something a little strange here that I'm not totally sure of. But in the Stitch demo, it brings up the folder where the image resides. I'm going to type in a new file to create Stitch demo. Two. It makes a copy of the JPEG for some reason. I don't quite understand why, but that's okay with me. All right, it's done. It automatically selected WGS84 here for us. Now we do the same exact thing. We write BSP cap, compatible chart. 
we select a place for it let's put it on the desktop and let's put uh, new folder stitch cap and let's just call this uh, stitch stitch cap demo all right same thing we get the same settings make sure dither is on make sure colors are 127 and away we go it's rebuilding the palette it'll start doing the chart it won't take very long I'll skip ahead okay that took about three minutes it says it's done let's see what we've got here's the folder and we've got the cat kap and the bsb file I'll just run through showing these in OpenCPN real quick. You probably know how to do this, but I'm just going to run through it real quick. Let's make a directory and let's just call it uh, temp caps. And in this directory, I'm going to put the caps we just made. There's the stitch demo cap. I'll copy that there. Or the earth demo cap. I'll copy that there. There's the stitch demo cap. I'll copy that there, close all the extraneous stuff. OK, so we have a folder with our caps in it right now on the desktop. Let's open OpenCPN. We click the toolbar, go to the charts and chart files. Add directory. It's on the desktop. It was called temp caps. Select that folder. So it added it to our list of charts. Now, that's not going to do anything for us. It's not going to show up until we click one of these boxes. And I generally click the first one if it's available, but it's not here because we added a directory. So we'll force full database rebuild and click OK. I have a lot of uh, charts here, so this is going to take quite a while. I'll skip ahead. OK, that probably took about two minutes. Now, let's do one other thing. Let's go back to the wrench. And let's go to chart groups and let's just make a new group here. Let's call it uh, cap demo. And in that, let's add the base map and let's use the CM93 as a base map. So I'm going to add that and then our new one, temporary caps and add that. And we can just click OK here. All right. Now we right click on the screen, chart groups, Let's select our new group, Cap Demo. And only the charts we made here are going to be visible. Here's one of them outlined in red at Benga. And if we click this chiclet down here, we can see the chart we just made. You can see the wonderful detail. And if you zoom way in, you can see the dithering. It helps keep areas from being obscured by the uh, color, low color resolution. And let's see if we can find the other one we made. It was in Savu Savu, so we have to go way up here. And there it is, this little red box here. Let's see what that looks like. There it is. There's the chart we made. Complete with my waypoints and roots drawn over the top of it. That's all there is to displaying them in OpenCPN, but you've just got to make sure that you click these boxes, scan charts and data, update database or force full database rebuild. Otherwise, the new chart you added here won't show up. Now, I mentioned that I talked briefly about using GE to cap. So let me do that. GE to cap is a free program and it does the absolute best job with colors. It's amazing the detail he can get using the cap files limited 127 colors. There are disadvantages. One is you have to have a KML file for it to work. And if you make the images with Google Earth Image Downloader or Universal Maps Downloader, it won't have a KML file. You'll have to use MapC to MapC or a program like it anyway to create the KML file. Not a big deal. It's easy enough to do. Just another step. The other disadvantage is that it doesn't handle really large CAP files. There are some ways around that. You can reduce the colors in the JPEG. You can reduce the resolution in the JPEG. I don't find either of those solutions totally satisfying. But if you're just going to make a small CAP file and you want the absolute best color resolution, 
then GE to cap is the way to go. Here's how you do it. Let's select Stitch Demo and let's select the JPEG image for Stitch Demo. This is the one of Benga. Select a place for it to go. We'll make a new folder on the desktop. We'll call it Cap uh, GE to Cap Demo. And we don't even need to select a file name. And then just create chart. It'll take uh, anywhere from a few seconds to an hour, depending on the size of your chart. And if your chart is that big, after an hour, you'll get an error message. I'll skip ahead. And that's it. It took 39 seconds to make it. Let's take a look at what we have here. There's our cap demo. And sure enough, we have the cap. No BSB file in this case, but we don't need it. All right. That's all for this tutorial. I hope this helps. Uh, check it out on uh, tuitc.com. In the cruising info section, you can go to navigation, find these videos and the PDF explanations as well. Thanks a lot. Happy boating.